Hi there and welcome to another video. My name is Paul Willems and in this video we are going to track a visitor all the way from the online marketing channel to a soft conversion with help of Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Enjoy watching this video. So in this final video I want to show you how to track a visitor to your website all the way from your online marketing channel to a conversion. So how does it work? So let's say if somebody is coming from a direct linking website, so there's a hyperlink to your website. So this visitor is coming from a direct linking website to your website and he's clicking on a hyperlink on your website to an affiliate website. So if you know this, you know you need to put more effort in direct linking. So the same is for SEO. If you have a lot of visitors from SEO and all those visitors, they click through the website of an affiliate partner, SEO is the platform you want to have. So how do we track it? First of all, we have done a lot of work already with Google Tag Manager. So we are able to measure the hyperlinks to external websites. So final thing we need to know is where are these visitors coming from? And we can do that with help of goals. So what we do is we go back to Google analytics and we need to set a new goal so what we're going to do is we go to admin and then we go to goals here on the right side and then we add a new goal and we choose custom and then we say continue and then we choose event because we have set up an event and we call it link link to Rubik's Cube website. So now we press continue. And here you can see the category, the action, the label, and the value. And that was actually the same we had to fill in in Google Tag Manager. So I've written them down and here it is. So make sure you make no writing mistake here. So I just copy it here. The event category in my case was this one the link to Rubik's Cube website. And there's no need to fill in the action at this moment. But if you have a goal, if you have a tag with a different action, then it's hard to measure this one. So I'm going to put the action there also. And the action was click on hyper page, on a hyperlink homepage. So is there, um, use this event value as the goal value for the, for the conversion? Yes, that's good. Verify this goal. Well, 0% and that's because we need to wait one day for the conversion and the data to being processed in Google Analytics. So I'm just going to press save and there's my goal. So what I can do now is when I press home and I press real time and I go to conversions and I go to my website now, I'm going to press this hyperlink you see there's one conversion, so that's good. But the best part of this conversion, you will see in another day. So because it takes um, some time, at least one day to, because it takes Google one day to process the data in Google Analytics, I will show you another Google Analytics account to show how it works. So what I did here is I pressed acquisition all traffic and then source medium. So when I choose for the event download um, manual cube, cube on this other page, this is also an event, the same one as we have shown you. Then you can see that most of the events are done by people who came from Google. And four of those events were done by people who came directly. And one of these events were done by LinkedIn. So that's nice because now we know for this event, our Google platform is the most important. So this is how you track your events in Google Tag Manager compared to your online marketing channels. This was the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel.